Divinity Original Sin 2 is best known for its vast array of strategies, party compositions, and skills. Though with enough effort, you can run out of things to do in the game and may be left with an insatiable desire for more. Fortunately, Larian has been kind enough to grace us with some good modding tools for people to make some interesting mods. If you're like me and waiting on some new Baldur's Gate patches, then you'll be wanting to come back to this game from time to time, and in this video, I'll show off some of the best mods to come back to. The first mod is a polar opposite to a playstyle already in game. With a lone wolf playstyle keeps your party small, this increased party size mod will allow you to have a much larger party. Party size evolved gives you the option to have up to 10 characters for your party. While this mod doesn't provide rebalance that makes this mod not completely broken, it does remove the arbitrary limit in posts and can create some new situations. This can be combined with more monster spawns to make things a bit more interesting, especially if you like the pure combat aspect of this game, you'll effectively never stop taking turns. The next mod on our list is the Bard and Artificer skill pack. Artificers focus on manipulation and utilization of items, where bards are the usual whimsical masters of their party. The artificers are useful in just about any party, but due to their ability to recreate obtained items can motivate party members to take the 5 star diner talent more frequently. Artificers are also used for combating armored units with their heat metal, being able to turn skills such as fortify against their user. Bards on the other hand have a good variety of uses, being able to bludgeon foes with their instruments, support their parties with a jaunty tune, or use statuses in a unique way once they've been applied. My favorite being Rhyme and Resonance, the first able to copy statuses to a target, and Resonance utilizing these statuses to support party members. The classes also benefit from underutilized stats such as Leadership for the Bards and Lore Master for the Artificer. The next mod, or rather set of mods, are the Hellane class mods which add new skills and classes to the game. We'll be focusing on the Vampire and Succubus classes in this video, but the Priest, Valkyrie, Wild Fae, Mirage, and many others are also available. These classes are meant to fit an archetype and theme rather than provide a full new playstyle. For example, the Succubus focuses on quite a few statuses from Charm to Intoxicating Foes, where the Vampire focuses on Lifesteal and other thematic abilities such as Summoning a Back. These classes are also quite nice for roleplaying, where the base game doesn't have much of it, these provide some new opportunities to scratch out some new fun ways of playing the game. Our final mod, and probably the most complex, is the Conflux mod. Adding in a large variety of new abilities, rebalances, enemies, and encounters, this is probably the most in-depth mod to date for this game. The flagship effect, Conflux, is a new method for combining statuses in a more valuable way. For example, in the base game, combining Shock and Wet can produce Stun, while many of the other combinations do not lead to status effects. Now you can combine effects such as Shock and Burning to create the Accelerant effect which causes fire damage as characters move around. The other effects are Proliferate, Virulent, and Congeal which provide their own unique effects as well. On top of the new effects there are many skills and talents to help build around. For example, Guys of the Stalker allows elevation bonuses for melee attacks and many more to increase the number of build possibilities exponentially. To make these spells work without being too strong and to give the player new opportunities to test it out, there are quite a few new bosses and encounters throughout the game. In some situations where nothing would come of your actions, now bosses, or sometimes an army of undead gnomes, may cost you depending on your choices and actions. 